Okay. So again, here we get started. This is the twenty uh, second uh, of May. We're going to be talking about some heavy rain and some severe weather. So again, this is the graphic we've had on our page uh, for the last couple of days, showing some significant rainfall across a good part of the area. We've made some minor tweaks, but overall, we're still looking at heavy rainfall over the weekend and the memorial into the Memorial Day itself. Uh, I think a good portion of this will start to fall. Saturday afternoon and Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, but again, looking at widespread, better than two inches in a fairly large area of four, uh, in excess of four inches and possibly up as high as seven inches over the weekend. And obviously with what all we've already had on the ground, that's gonna continue to cause some significant issues across the area. So moving forward, this is uh, the latest um, Rainfall amounts forecast. This is the day two. This is really looking from Saturday morning into Sunday morning and across a good portion of Oklahoma down into North Texas. We're looking in excess of an inch and a half to as much as three inches of rain falling with this uh, initial one to possibly two waves of precipitation that we expect to occur uh, during the day on Saturday into Saturday evening. Kind of the first wave we anticipate to develop across the area about midday, late morning to midday on Saturday that will move across the area with a secondary wave that will form across western and southwestern Texas, move uh, northeast into the area late afternoon on Saturday and into Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday morning. So I think that's where a lot of this is going to fall during that time frame and the kind of the time frames for those two different waves that we're looking at. So um, obviously a bullseye of three inches down in southwest Oklahoma, but a good good area of one to two inches uh, across a good part of Oklahoma and North Texas. As we move forward into the day on Sunday and Sunday night, we're still looking at a good part of the area, at least seeing half an inch and a lot of areas uh, along and east of I-35, you know, another one to two inches will be possible uh, during the day on Sunday. So. All of that is adding up to what I showed you earlier there that, you know, four or five, six, even maybe seven inches of rain uh, coming up over the weekend. Uh, moving forward, this is a graphic some of you may be familiar with. Rick showed yesterday kind of showing the forecast points across the, the, the rivers across our area. Um, anything really in, that you see in, in orange, red or even purple is in flood or forecast to go into flood between now and, and Memorial Day and even into early parts of next week. So obviously anything with red or purple, uh, pretty significant, if not major flooding. And in some cases with the event we're expecting over the weekend, we could see record flooding in some areas. And we'll continue to watch that really closely. Uh, some of that obviously will be dependent on exactly where some of this rainfall occurs. Uh, but we are looking at some potentially record, record uh, uh, flooding on some of the main stem rivers across the area. Uh, so we'll be watching that pretty closely. Um, here's some of the, the latest on some of the rivers. I won't go specifically into some of these unless you want me to, but this is the latest we've got on some of the rivers and their current current stages, their crests, and when we expect it to occur or to fall back below flood stage. We will be sending these slides at, uh, to you guys afterwards. So you know if you if you're not familiar with some of this or you want some more specifics. Uh, you can either ask us right now or, like I said, we'll, we will be passing these slides on to you after the presentation. Again, here's some more East Cache Creek, uh, Deep Red, Washita, some of those. And then we've got uh, Clear Bog. And most of these are across southern Oklahoma. I know we've got some people asking about things farther north, um, uh, specifically about the Cimarron. Uh, I've got Steve Kruckenberg in here as well. I'll ask him real quick. Uh, Steve, any concerns along the Cimarron River right now? Um, not, not currently. Uh, there are no forecasts out from the River Forecast Center in Tulsa. Um, just a couple of things that weren't on this list. Um, Canadian River near Bridgeport uh, looks like it should remain probably about one. To, it's going to crest about uh, 13 feet. Uh, uh, this evening, and it's going to stay anywhere from the 12 to 13 foot range over the next few days. Uh, the little river near Tecumseh had just fallen below flood stage this morning, and um, but with uh, given the saturated conditions and with any 
uh, heavy rainfall, it would likely go above flood stage again this weekend. I uh, had another question, and we're we're not done yet. Let, let's let's go ahead and finish, and then we'll do, we'll, we'll we'll do the questions. Yeah, we, we are paying attention to the questions. I know some of you are are, are thinking ahead, and that's fine. We'll we'll discuss some of what your questions are referring to here coming up. Um, so there was some about severe weather, and we are looking at that potential tomorrow. Um, as we, as, we, as we've seen in the past, the last several weekends, uh, you know, what happens in the afternoon on a particular day is going to be very highly dependent on what happens the night before and during that morning, and this Saturday is going to be a no exception. Um, as I said earlier, we're looking at storms that could possibly develop fairly early in the day, and we may have ongoing light, mo light to moderate rain across central and northern Oklahoma even before sunrise uh, Saturday morning. But like I said, we could see some storms develop, a fairly substantial area of storms move through from west to east uh, during the midday and early afternoon, and then another round late in the day. Um, it's kind of hard to tell exactly, you know, how strong these storms are. If we get several rounds of storms, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to develop much in the way of instability, and I think that'll keep, you know, the higher end storms at bay. Uh, but again, if some of that doesn't develop, again, if we're able to see some clearing, see some recovery in those surface temperatures and develop more instability, obviously, the stronger the storms can, you know, could be. There is some tornado threat tomorrow. Uh, it's fairly low end. I think, you know, the low, it's, it's very low. And even with that, I think the highest probabilities of that even would be in southwest Oklahoma and western north Texas in our area. But again, I think the tornado threat is pretty low tomorrow, but it is not zero. So we will continue to have to watch that pretty closely. Again, I think, you know, to take away from this, I think the, the major impact is going to be the rainfall. Uh, but we obviously will be watching for the severe threat tomorrow. Uh, the stuff that comes in midday will probably be mainly a hail, hail threat along with uh, heavy rain. And then in the afternoon, I think, you know, we see some stuff late in the day into the evening hours. We'll have to watch for, you know, all the types of severe weather, including tornadoes. But again, I think the tornado threat tomorrow is rather low, more of a hail, wind, and especially heavy rain. I think that's what I want to emphasize is uh, the heavy rain, I think, will be, will be the significant threat going through the weekend. But don't want to just completely, you know, discount the potential for, you know, hail and wind as well. Uh, going into Sunday, uh, there will still be, you know, we are under a marginal risk. Uh, for, you know, all the potentials are out there. Again, I think the main impact for any kind of tornadic potential will probably be southwest or south central Oklahoma. Again, I think it's extremely low potential for that. Again, I think anything ongoing during the day on Sunday would be rather low end, marginal hail and wind. Uh, I think the majority of what we'll be dealing with on Sunday will be the ongoing flash flooding and flooding event that will be, you know, the, of the utmost importance. Uh, across the area. So I think that I don't want to completely just ignore the severe potential because I think there is some, but I, I think our, our bigger our bigger issue will be with what's uh, the water falling out of the sky and what's moving down those main stem rivers and the reservoirs and having to deal with that. So obviously we want to we want to tell people continue. I know we're in a Memorial Day weekend. We're not going to keep people off the lakes unless we just close them down, which isn't going to happen. So we're going to have a lot of people out there on on, on the uh, the area lakes. So we always wanted to, you know, continue to tell people about, you know, the safety aspect of it. Turn around, don't drown. You know, uh, whoever out there can can pass that on to people out there in the field. Uh, you know, you guys are out there with your with your feet on the ground a lot of times. So we always want to reemphasize these points. You know, uh, to try to be as safe as possible, not only with our boating and our driving. But, you know, we kids, I know as I was a kid, I loved to go out and play in the rain, especially flooding rains. We want to try to keep those kids out of those floodwaters. I knew several kids when I was a kid got sucked into those pipes and lost their lives. And obviously that's going to be a threat this, this coming holiday weekend. We're going to have a lot of youngsters out there doing stuff that's potentially dangerous. Uh, and so we want to talk, we want to emphasize that to you guys out there. I see a question here talking about rain potential on Monday. I think there is still a chance on Monday, fairly low end chances, and I think any significant rainfall I, I think would be over with by then, but there is some chance. I think 20 to, we may have a 20 to 30% chance of mainly light rain on Monday. 
I think the significant precip is going to fall from Saturday afternoon in through at least the first part of the day on Sunday. Uh, but anyway, just want to be safe out there and want to stress that points to people and try to keep people as safe as possible. So that's really right now. That's all I've got. Uh, we'll continue to keep you updated with the latest that we've got. Anything changes, we'll, we'll obviously schedule some more of these. But that's all I've got right now. I'll hold on for uh, try to answer some of these questions that are coming in.